Hi everybody, it's been a little while since I posted my last video. Um, today's just a quick one, um, just a preview about the next video really. Um, as you can see, I just bought um, a Series 2 uh, Bose 901. Again, it's missing the EQ, which I'm going to be picking up later this week. And that's also going to be the focus of the next video, is showing you the restoration and the modifications I'm going to do on the EQ needed for the center channel, which is going to be a differential uh, in and out design. And as you can see, my home entertainment cabinet shrunk because I needed the space behind the center channel um, 901. So you can see my little Mickey Mouse uh, cabling set up on the ground there, but it works. Um, just had some 10 gauge monster cable kicking around, so I just threw that in there. Works, sounds good enough using the Sony DSP. So this cabinet was a real bugger to, you know, chop up and, and, and put, set together like this. Interior wise, nothing's really changed little cabling issue though I had to uh, turn 901 EQ my old 901 EQ box the dog's breakfast sideways so that the cables would reach uh, no amount of moving things around worked so I'm getting um, more cables for that later today or sorry not later today but on Friday and the next thing is my side project as you can see on the screen there, I'm working on a single channel um, Series 2 EQ circuit straight out of the Bose uh, schematic um, with all my mod modifications, the, the Sonicraft capacitors, the um, V-shaped resistors, which I think I'm going to be going uh, surface mount 1% instead of the through-hole stuff to save some space. And the idea is, once I got the board laid out properly, and no shorts, no, no messed up nets and things like that, the idea is this will be modular. So it could be one channel of a single-ended design, or it could be the negative input of a differential design or balance design, and then use a, another circuit board to do the um, positive signal. Don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but um, again, there will be more details coming up. Um, that's basically it for now. Uh, again, sorry it's been so long since I did the last video, but yes, it has been busy with my real job and things like that. And also, I, I'm also going to be doing a quick video on my trip to PS Audio last week uh, would have been the third week of, second week of June sorry or third week of June so anyways that won't be a video inside the factory but it'll be just pictures and stories that I've already shared on the PS audio website uh, forum and on my personal Facebook there all right thanks again everyone and I'll just give you one quick class tour again listening to these on YouTube it's no point so it's more of a showing off of things. By the way, that middle cabinet there, as you can see, very little cabinet damage. Just a couple of little tiny nicks, so that's going to get cleaned up. One thing I will do is apply the same treatment on the grills. You know, they're going to be the black acoustically transparent stuff, just like I did here. And the one thing I will do is I'm not going to cover the tops and the bottoms because the wood's so nice on that series too, it's a shame to cover it over with acrylic panels. I will, though, apply the acrylic panels to the sides and the fronts and apply the same grill treatment. And the nice thing with this single 901 that I pick, picked up for 100 bucks is this. I actually got the nameplate for once and it's like mint the sad story behind this 901 that I picked up locally I got it with the series 6 
stands for 100 bucks, and the guy who got these off of another person claimed that the other speaker wasn't working. I think what happened was the crappy cable they had inside was not connected properly to the lugs, which are obviously buried under the buried under the uh, tulip stand here. So that said, the guy literally chucked it in the garbage. So I probably could have gotten a two for one deal. Hello, Happy. Where are you, dear? Here's my dog. Hello. Hello. Yes. Scare the scare the people on YouTube. That's it.